today we're working at the Folk Life Festival. And in this instance, the Department of Anthropology is participating because we're, we're working toward an exhibition. And the title of that exhibition is Written in Bone, Forensic Files of the 17th Century Chesapeake. And it's about life during the 17th century as revealed through archaeology and the studies of what the human skeletons can tell you the date to that time period. And we're very pleased to have an artist, Amanda Danning, from Blessing, Texas, who's come up to be one of the participants in this festival. So we're actually analyzing bones that have been excavated, very carefully excavated through archaeological methods at Jamestown, including the 1607 original colonists. Some of the skeletons represent individuals that came over on the very first boats. But once they came aground, they were in residence for a very short period of time, and there was an attack, a large-scale attack on the fort by the local Indian tribes. Now, this particular individual that we're doing the facial reconstruction on, he's about 15 years of age. In his femur, in his left femur, up against the bone was a stone projectile point, an arrowhead, if you will, a stone projectile point where that individual had been hit in the leg with an arrow. During the five-month voyage that this young man was coming over on the ships, somewhere along the way he was involved in an injury that fractured one of his teeth. Something hit him right here and broke two of his teeth, and one of his teeth it actually cracked it completely in two, such that the top portion of that tooth came off. It opened the pulp chamber, and with that pulp chamber now exposed, what that allows is for bacteria to enter into the tooth and to begin an abscess. It spread deeply into the bone, all of the bone right here being destroyed by the infection itself. So we're dealing with a very serious, actually life-threatening uh, complication here. This is something that, had he not died in the attack, this alone probably would have killed him. What we have here is a replica of the actual skull. She has a copy of this skull that serves as the basis for making the reproduction in the sense that the clay is put on the 3D model in order to build up the facial features. This is a second copy, and this copy is produced by this process of, of CT work and then stereolithography. And what this allows us to do is to be able to continuously compare between the features that we see in the cranium and the reproduction as it's being produced by the artist. It's really an interesting process, a lot more science than art. A work of art is something that I have a vision that I'm trying to create. I don't know what this is going to look like when it's finished. The bones are instructing me as I go along. And this affects little nuances in the skin. There's not a lot of creativity in it. He's going to have this horrific infection going on. He's going to be in a very foreign land that he knows little about. He undoubtedly is suffering from malnutrition. We've got to bring into his eyes, into his facial appearance, a certain reflection of, of certainly youth and hope but also a certain degree of desperation and despair that really reflects his circumstances at that time period. I like to consider myself a uh, three-dimensional storyteller or a sculptural storyteller. Being able to bring these people to life, put them in 3D, let you look into their eyes, I think that really helps us relate, connect to history. Right here, maybe by building this when you're talking about the early 17th century, the records for this time period are very limited. Many things happened and nobody recorded them at all. And the life and the passing of this young man received very little attention. We're taking someone from history that we know very little about. And it is a way for us to tell his story, to read his bones, to talk about who he was in life, and to identify him to the public. It helps fill in many details about some event in history for which we know very little about.